Honestly, we just witnessed vocal porn. Kia ora and welcome back. My name's Zoe Stiebe, your vocal coach for today. And in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at David Draymond singing The Sound of Silence. Woohoo! Can't wait to have a look at what is he up to with his voice. Let's get to the video. Over here on my channel, you're going to find reactions and analyses to your favorite live performances because I want to help you sing more like your favorite artists in the comfort of your own home. So let's check out what David Draymond's up to with his voice. Please welcome Disturbed. I love Disturbed. Darkness, my own friend. I've come to talk with you again because a vision softly creeping left its scenes while I was sleeping, and the vision that was planted in my brain. Still remains within the sound of silence in restless dreams. I walk. Oh, God, I'm actually like, I haven't actually seen this performance before, but because I've listened to this song a lot, I know it very well. And I wanted to take a look at what is David's opinion about his own vocals. So he's actually a very, very highly trained singer. He takes the utmost care about his voice. As singers, our body is our instrument. And he's also very vocal and honest about his regime with his voice. This is a super easy part of his range at the beginning of the song, thick vocal folds, lower in the range. I know he can go much, much lower. We're also going to hear that later in the song. You can also hear a bit of vibrato coming in. There's not a hell of a lot of constriction, but I would almost consider this quite an operatic setup. Honestly, we're just going to keep on listening to this fabulous song because <sighs> I love it. In restless dreams I walked alone A bit of vibrato. Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a street lamp I turned my collar to cold and damp When my eyes were stared By the flash of a neon light That split the night And touched the sound of silence and in the naked light I saw Okay, before he launches into that higher part, again, second verse, relatively easy in that part of his range. Doesn't look like he's trying particularly hard, but what I love about him and his performances is that he's always so truthful to what he's singing. And that's something that he makes quite explicitly clear in some of his interviews is that people can smell a rat. If you're not honest about the words that you are singing, no one's going to give a shit. I'm loving this because you're going to really notice the change when he shifts into that sort of second gear of this higher part of the song. Let's go. And in the naked light I saw 10,000 people, maybe more People talking without speaking People hearing Silence for said I you do not know silence like a cancer grows hear my words and I might teach you take my arms and I might reach you but my Oh, 
the utter musicianship and his vocal ability. Did you hear that like little bit of constriction coming in and then he releases it? There is so much going on that you can hear there. So there's no way I can go into all of it. Right at the top of that chorus there, you notice there was a little bit of narrowing going on, but not too much. Honestly, we could, this video could be a hundred minutes long. I mean, to unpick everything that he is doing with his voice. But the main point to make is, did you notice that he switched from constriction to not constriction? Okay, so he went from a, an affected sound or a gritty sound to a non-gritty sound. And that is so important when you are singing this type of music, that you are able to sing with effects and then sing without effect. What you can do there is when you're warming up your voice in order to sing this type of music or probably more of like disturbed normal songs uh, where there are like a lot more effects involved, I would say warm up the voice without the constriction and then you go and warm up the constriction slightly at the end. Constriction is a gentle and slight narrowing of the throat in order to allow the false vocal folds to come over the true vocal folds. It's not a pushed sound, okay? So good. Echoed in the world of silence and the people bowed in great to the neon god they made and the sign lashed out Honestly, we just witnessed vocal porn, really. He's so good. So, so good. I, I, I feel like <laughs> I'm not doing it justice whatsoever, but the whole point is to help you sing more like this in the comfort of your own home. And I tell you, go ahead and practice now. Just the agility of that voice, it's incredible. Did you notice there as well that through that last chorus, it wasn't constricted on every single word? So when he went for the long held notes, he used a bit of constriction. And then when he had the sort of passing notes in between, he didn't have any constriction whatsoever. Let's just take a look at what I mean about that. Constricted. In the signs of the words of the prophets are written on the subway walls in tenement homes. Whisper. Okay, and then he goes back clear at the end. So don't think that you have to just like blast the constriction through the whole. Th now, David has spoken as well in a couple of interviews that he works with his vocal coach, Melissa Cross. For those of you who don't know Melissa Cross, she is a world renowned and highly respected metal and effects vocal teacher. She is absolutely fantastic. And she was one of the first specialized metal teachers because she saw that there were a lot of singers using effects, metal singers, rock, punk, everything in between singers who were losing their voices, suffering vocal fold hemorrhages, nodules and all sorts. And she developed her techniques in order to help them. And I know one thing is for sure is that Melissa Cross always teaches a very low level of effort when it comes to the constriction. So basically doing the absolute minimum in order to achieve the sound that you're trying to create. 
My technique deep dive for today is to talk about how can you create the sounds that you're creating and then use as little effort as possible. So when I'm talking about effort, I'm talking about how hard is it to, for you to create that sound? How much energy do you require to create that sound? Because if you can use as little effort as possible, you are then going to be able to sing for longer. And so we had our relaxation maneuvers. They are rolling the shoulders chewing, stretching. You can lift your arms up above your head. You can walk around your room. Um, you can also, you know, do any type of movement. Movement is a way in which that you can take tension out of the body. It's just making sure that the rest of the body, it's not relaxed, okay? It's not relaxed. This sort of stuff, he isn't relaxed. He's sitting up tall. He's using those lovely back muscles in, in order to support the sound, but it's not a pushed sound from here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am obsessed with Disturbed. And dudes, Disturbed, come to Europe again because I really want to come and see you perform. Loving these performances. Let me know down in the comments what you would like me to have a look at next and who are your favorite artists. Even include some links of your favorite live performances because over here on my channel, I only take a look at and analyze live performances because that way, you know, you can hear the voice much better than in the music video. If you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because, you know, I bring up videos three times a week and I want to help you sing better in the comfort of your own home. Have an awesome rest of your day. Happy singing. Rock on and kakitano.